Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. I wanted to introduce you to some of my new friends. There's horses in Farming Sim now, and if you haven't seen already, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at how to buy and bring back horses to a paddock. We've already placed this one here in an earlier live stream, so if you want to see more of this, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button and go ahead and subscribe in order to see more of that. Vote to see more of this on the channel because it is going to be amazing. Check this out. We got two beautiful horses who are already named. We can actually walk into the paddock and ride them. I'm going to show you how to do that a little bit later. I think we have uh, one of them named uh, Ulysses and Utris or something like that. So uh, I think we can name them. Uh, we're going to see if we can do that or not. But we're going to go pick some up. Oh, good boy. Whoa. <laughs> Getting a little wild. All right. They look really good, though. Their animations are really nice, very smooth. And they're very fun and easy to ride. So we're going to go pick up a few more just so I can show you what they're like and uh, how to get it all uh, picked up. So all you really need, speaking of which, by the way, a pickup is you just need this uh, big master here in order to uh, haul two of them and a pickup truck in basic. But you can always pick up more if you want to. And you can actually see uh, that if you go to the uh, purchase menu and go to animal pens, you can actually make a purchase of chicken coops, dog houses, cow pastures, and of course horse paddocks that are uh, both regular sized and large, including pig enclosures too. So if you double click on that, you can pretty much put it uh, wherever you'd like, so long as the ground is flat enough. The uh, placing process is a little different, but this is how you'll be doing it when you go to build your own farm in Farming Simulator uh, 19, which is another option too, where you can design your whole farm and uh, cut down trees and organize everything. So as you can see here, uh, you should be able to place things here if it turns blue, and then you can uh, rotate and that type of thing. Very large that it has to be placed. As you can see, uh, there's a little territory around it that needs to be flattened out too. It's a little weird, but I think in time, we can all get used to it and it'll work out just fine. So as you can see here, that's kind of how we place this one next to our fields. It cuts out a little bit of your field if that's what you want to do, but there's the ability to purchase land now in Farming Sim 19, so keep in mind you're going to be doing that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, roll up the trailer here. We're going to get the back end uh, picked up and uh, drop down, and we're going to go over to the animal dealer. This is where you'll pick them up. Horses are $5,000 each at the moment, and of course, maybe prices are subject to change if there's some sort of a patch, but it's uh, very nice, actually. Uh, I think that's a really affordable price in order to purchase a horse. You can ride them all around. Unfortunately, you can't put in any in equipment on them, which is uh, a little unfortunate, but not uh, it's understandable. I'm not upset about it or anything. Although I would say it would be pretty cool to be able to uh, haul around a little wagon or something like that with a hay bale in it. But anyway, we're going to go to the animal dealer, which is in the center of the map. And we're playing a course on the map known as Ravenport, which is the new American ma uh, map in the game, which is very nice. I love it. I love this map. I'm saying, I'm telling you, I love this. I'm loving it. Oh, uh, ooh, that's copyright. Got to be, got to be careful what I'm saying. All right, so there's plenty of fields around. You got uh, wonderful, wonderful fields to purchase, wonderful land to purchase. And if you haven't seen the map tour episode already, make sure you go ahead and check that one out. Lots of uh, homes and things around here uh, that really make it look rustic, but also has a feel of California uh, and Colorado and Washington State, kind of a few states on the American Northwest put together. I think it really represents uh, like Northern uh, California quite immensely. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go down here to, I think, the town, and then we'll take a right. Takes a little bit to get there, but uh, let's see if we can do that. I feel like the controls in this game are much better than any other farming sim as well. They're a lot more fluid when it comes to driving a vehicle. It, it, it's a little uh, difficult to get used to it at the start because it's so different than it was in any other farming sim. That is definitely not a bad thing at all. It's much different and I like it a lot. And I think what we need to do here is take a right, I believe. If not, if we get lost, that's okay. We get to go explore a little bit. But uh, it's pretty easy to d drive around with the truck. Now, I must say, too, I'm driving with a keyboard and a mouse, as you can tell. But uh, in a, maybe with a gaming controller or with a, a steering wheel, it'll probably get a lot easier. Uh, here we are, the beautiful town of uh, Ravenport, I believe. This is very nice. Again, very uh, kind of a suburban area or a rustic area here with factories and whatnot. And then, of course, as you go down, there's highways and uh, an av a large avenue. <clears throat> and you can even drive near the ocean, which is very cool. We're going to sneak through here. I just wanted to kind of take a side route as we're going uh, to pick up our horses, which is kind of nice. There is traffic on as well, though. Traffic is pretty quiet in this game. And, uh, oh, yeah, here we are. Nice, we can drive next to the uh, train tracks, too. Which, by the way, there's a train that runs around here. And uh, that's a new thing to Farming Sim, is a train that actually runs. So that's really cool. Uh, a train that just constantly goes around. Anyway, a little unorthodox way to get there, but at least we were able to see some of the uh, different sites of uh, Farming Sim. So let's go pick up our animals now. And we should be able to get up, I think, this road and then to the right. 
So we'll be going up to the uh, back of the facility. We'll pick them up and put them into the trailer. And I think you might even be able to use this for cows if you want to. I mean, it wouldn't be unheard of of using uh, a trailer like this for cattle. I, maybe they're a little too big to fit, but it would. Uh, I wouldn't put it past in order to be able to haul a few pigs or hogs or whatever, even though it's designed for horses. Maybe it won't allow you, but it would be cool if the functionality uh, was uh, across the board. All right, so there is the animal dealer that you'll be going to. It's quite obvious with the huge, uh, <laughs> the huge bull out front or cow. And uh, we're going to go down to the back of the facility and just pull up. And as it uh, has been in previous farming sim games, this too is very simple in order to pick up animals and uh, drop, drop them off back at your uh, paddock. And it's very nice that you can actually place the paddock now uh, instead of having to drive to different parts of the map where the game decided that it would put the uh, cow uh, pasture or the pig pen. You can actually place it yourself, which is really nice. Gosh, driving is so much smoother in this game. I still find myself being very distracted by the uh, landscape and crashing into things as I'm looking at these beautiful rolling hills and uh, the mountains and stuff around. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pick up our horses then. So what we'll do is we'll press R in order to bring up the menu. And look at that. You can buy all sorts of different uh, colors of pigs and sheep. That's really cool. Different uh, quote-unquote species, I say. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and buy ourselves a new horse. We actually have a gray uh, horse already. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, we have a black horse too. But we're going to get a pinto. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a pinto. And uh, as there's uh, no transport fee on this, we've uh, leased this trailer to pick up a few horses. So we may as well get another one too. Oh, why not? Chestnut, beautiful, beautiful, real, real, just beautiful horses. I like the uh, Dunn as well. Let's go with that one. So these two horses then will confirm. And there they are in the back of the trailer. Check that out. Boom. Very good. So they're secure in place, and then we can just go ahead and bring them right back. Let's go ahead and raise up the uh, ramp. Let's bring bring them right back home. So uh, yeah, in addition to the horses, you can have a dog as well. And uh, one thing I've noticed is that unfortunately the dog just can't run in the <laughs> can't run in the truck with you. At least I've seen so far. I'll still have to test that one. Major major important thing is can the dog go in the truck with you? Well, I don't know. Wow, this game is just so much smoother and fresh than any other farming sim game. I must say, I really uh, I'm really liking it so far. All right, we're gonna get up to speed and head home. Very nice. Very simple and very easy to ride the horses as well. Uh, you can control the speed, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment by uh, just basically uh, tapping W. It's almost like a speed selector. You can, uh, you know, go for trot or full gallop, and uh, then you can also slow down and reverse. So it's going to be uh, quite a thing to be able to show off these horses. I, I, I'm really happy that we have so many, and I think we'll be able to get money uh, for the horses, I think, perhaps by selling them at the ranch. There seems to be some sort of a connection there, and I'll have a little bit more to learn. There's really, truly so much in this game that if you've been watching every trailer and every uh, fact sheet and looking at all the information, there's still a lot to learn, especially about the map. It'll take you a little bit to get your bearings, as this one's got a lot more intricate roads uh, than ever before in a farm sim game. Wow, interesting spot to put a uh, stop sign right there on the railroad tracks, or at least a uh, intersection. All right, we're going to go back down into our house. Luckily, I've driven this route quite a few times. It's uh, quite a nice uh, experience getting back from the shop over to the uh, back over to the farm. And uh, I will say that the uh, ground, I don't know what you would call it, the, uh, the, the actual terrain really more than ever affects your driving in a tractor. It really gives it some nice uh, visual aspects when you're in the cabin. And the same when you're in a truck. Uh, in older farming sim games, it would it would kind of seem as if you were driving all over and uh, and uh, you know like you were losing control in the vehicle. But this just normally uh, simulates your suspension, and it's uh, quite a good experience. There we are. Wow, there's the beautiful spinnery over there. I always think that looks like a church. I always I always thought that was a church from before, but it is actually a spinnery. I wonder what the large tower is for. I don't know if that's for uh, if that's a smokestack or what. It's a pretty cool looking building. <clears throat> really looks like it's from World War II or something like that. It looks like it's been built a long time ago. So this town is definitely old. 15 miles an hour is the speed limit, but at 25, this already feels uh, slow. It's the bridge speed limit. What bridge? It said 15 miles an hour for the bridge, and there was no bridge. What bridge? What? All right. I think we're going to have to buy some more wheat fields, too. I've been enjoying harvesting some wheat during our live streams, and I can't wait to try some more crops, including cotton. That's one thing we're going to do as well as take a look at the tutorials. I've got so many ideas. There's so much to cover in this game. It's wonderful. It's really a, a nice thing to be able to uh, play a vanilla game again that feels so different and uh, so unique than any other previous game. And mods can't even match at the moment. But imagine 
all the horses and different varieties and mods that people are going to come up with. It's going to be insane. It's another great reason to get this game is mod makers, uh, they're out of control with this. Whoa, horses getting a little out of control back there. All right, we're going to go ahead and drop these horses off then. Uh, Ranger and Kramer are our two horses. Uh, Ranger is our Pinto and Kramer is our Dunn. So let's go ahead and get those two out. And I think we will confirm. And there you go. It should be inside. Very nice. All right, so we can go inside now. And uh, let's open up the uh, little paddock uh, gate there. Ooh, all right. Oh, there they are. We're, oh, there he is. Oh, very nice. It actually, oh, and birds are in the fields too. It's very cool that way. So uh, every horse that you own will actually be uh, animated inside the paddock. It's not like it just picks a bunch of random uh, horses for you to ride. But let's go ahead and ride one. I think we should grab Pinto here today. Let's go ahead and uh, I think Ranger here is going to be a great horse. You just press E and you hop right on top. So let's go ahead and go through all of the uh, controls for riding a horse. So obviously you can uh, walk backwards and you can stop. And then you can walk, trot, canter, and gallop as uh, needed. So you can actually uh, go around the entirety of the map. You don't have to just stay in this paddock here. So it's a very cool thing. And it, the sounds are great. The horse even, like, controls very realistically. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's on level with any other horse game I've seen, including Red Dead Redemption, to be honest. And uh, let's go ahead and stop here at the gate and uh, get out. Oh, he goes all the way back over there. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and uh, there we go. Oh, Horse Ranger is back and stable, it says. I think if you get off the horse long enough, it'll actually teleport the horse. If you uh, go far enough, I think. It won't wait like a vehicle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, obviously a little graphical glitch there or something as we go over the fence. Whoops. Oh, and then Ranger... Oh, okay, so if you just get off the horse, he goes right back into the paddock. Interesting. I think there should be a way to control the gate uh, from the... I Before, I when I was showing this off, I mistakenly just walked over the fence. So I guess... Yeah, okay, there we go. We went right through. I guess we'll leave it open, because if I get off, Ranger is just going to teleport back in. So let's go ahead and walk around. I wonder if he uh, can push the grass aside. Look at that. Wonderful. If you go through the bush, there it goes. It just it realistically bends around, like as if the horse went through. Let's go ahead and canter now. Ah, there you go. And let's go for a full gallop. And look at that. The rider even leans forward into the run, and you can actually hear the horse breathing deep. Very good. They did a good job of capturing uh, horse uh, riding and all the sounds and the... Uh, oh, unfortunately we can't go into first person, which is a shame. But at least we can ride around the road and through the fields. Let's go this way. There we go. Oh, we can even jump. I see there's a jump function. Let's see if we can uh, jump over... Oh, I don't want to jump over that. What is that? Some sort of a... Uh, solar panel there. Let's try to find something we can jump over. Oh, careful. Oh, lar quite a large hitbox on that uh, telephone pole. Oh, that's not good. Uh, it's actually pretty big for a hitbox. Or the horse's hitbox is rather big. One of the two. Oh, look at that. We can go right through the bushes. That's crazy. Alright, let's see if we can find uh, something to jump over. Is there a tipped over log or... Uh, a rock or something that we can try to jump? Maybe a small little ravine or a little stream? Let's see. Wow, beautiful. You know, the nice thing about this game, too, is that when you buy land, uh, if you buy a field like this, for example, you can put all of your paddocks over here. However, I've noticed that they've seemingly removed uh, greenhouses and solar panels and windmills. I think maybe perhaps players just didn't use them or they were abused too much and kind of ruined the game, but... I don't know how to feel about that. Let's go ahead and walk right into town now. Wow, this really does feel like a modern Red Dead Redemption with this building here like this. It's great. Look at that. All right, let's try to jump this fence here. That might be a little too high. Wow, we actually did it. All right. And again, a weird hitbox. <laughs> nowhere, nowhere, pretty close to that, but nowhere near hitting my face. So it looks like the rider and the horse have a hitbox. A little bit to get used to, but definitely a welcome sight in Farming Simulator 19. It's really not even a farming simulator anymore. It's it's farming simulator, meet, you know, logging, uh, animal husbandry, I think, is a, a factor in here, too. Look at that. Ooh, nice to get up the hill. Good job. Let's go to the gas station. Now, I'm not sure exactly what fuel you need to uh, fuel up the horse with. I don't know if it takes diesel or unleaded or what the prices are, but it might be something uh, we're checking out in a future update, maybe. I don't know why they don't allow you to fuel up a horse. It's really strange, huh? There we go. Well, let's see. 
Uh, yeah, I don't think they have horse fuel here. I mean, it, it has horsepower, right? So it should take fuel. Well, I don't know. All right, let's get out of here then. Let's go find somewhere else to ride around. So this is really one of the greatest things of the game. Uh, I'm really hoping for some mod makers or perhaps a DLC where we get to go a little bit more into the uh, down in Texas or something like that where a horse could really be a beautiful sight uh, across the plain. But uh, again, this is a very welcome sight. And the fact that you can just walk around town and do whatever you want on a leisurely day if, you, if you're waiting for a few fields to uh, uh, perhaps uh, workers or something working on plowing a field and you're, you don't want to do that and you just want to go walk around, go do that. Let's go uh, full speed. Hey, not too bad. Definitely can't jump a car, but let's try something else. Um, oh, let's try... I don't know about that barrier. That looks a little tall. And that fence there is definitely tall, too. Let's see if we can find something to jump over. Oh, the lawnmower. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That was awesome. Very cool indeed. So many things to do in farming sim. I love it. I want I want there to be more to do with the horses too. It'd be great to imagine riding around with all your friends and horses now. That's gonna be cool. You could start up a multiplayer game, buy a bunch of horses, everybody grabs one, and you can do horse races. Oh, that's gonna be a wonderful map. Ooh, oof, oof. That car is under the ground. Uh oh, Giants is gonna have to patch that out. Ah, little little things. Let's see how the turn radius is on the horse. Oh, that's pretty good. And look at that, dust even created by the hooves. Very nice. Wow, that's actually impressive. Now, I think that fence there might be a little too big for us to jump. So we can't go over that one into the factory. Oh, again, the hitbox a little wide, I guess. There we go. It's going to take some getting used to. All right, what is this down here? The, uh, the what? The, what is this? The literate coffee shop. Oh, so... Means you can read, I guess. All right, let's go explore a little bit more. I wonder if there's horse trails around here. I haven't seen any uh, real specific horse trails, but we can definitely go down some of these. It's a lot better than walking. Oh, look at that beautiful cargo ship out there. That is awesome. I think you can hear the swell of the ocean. I wonder if there's a way to get down there. Watch out for a train. Let's go on the other side of the tracks. Come on, boy. There we go. I don't know if there's actually a way to get down to the beach. Oh, there must be. There's docks and such down there. I think we'll go up here. Definitely nice uh, taking a little map tour with the uh, horses. It's a very, very new, unique thing. It's just they've had it before. People have modded uh, horses in before, and it just never felt quite right. But here with the ability to put down the paddocks. I love it. I love the fact that we can just go through the bushes and they actually interact as instead of just being a uh, object that would block your view. Another thing I want to know is too, and I'll probably figure this out by the time I ask, but does anyone know if you can cut through bushes in this game now finally? If you can use a mower to get rid of some of these uh, you know, large bushes near a field or something and, and uh, kind of clear it out. Sometimes when you're harvesting or when you're plowing or something, your tractor will kind of just go right into a bush when you're trying to make a turn. It'd be nice to be able to, you know, while you're near your fields, cut some of this stuff out. Hopefully that train doesn't come around. Uh-oh. Okay. We are good. I wonder if we can outrun the train. All right, let's see. Well, that's going to have to be an interesting thing in multiplayer is to see if we can outrace a train. That's going to be cool. Ah, there we go. Beautiful buoys all around. Wow, they did a fantastic job. Sunset happening very soon. It's about uh, just, just past uh, almost 6 o'clock in the evening. Very beautiful. What's that out on that rock? That looks like some sort of a, a wreck or something like that. Let's see if we can head down here. Let's make a jump. Ew! Whoa, that was a little too much of a jump. Beautiful little pier over there. Looks like it's still functioning. Look at this. That is amazing. Horses and farming sim 19. Can you believe it? Isn't that beautiful? That is amazing. They did such a good job with the water and the effects of the ocean like that. That is incredible. And that is a boat. That is, uh, wow, that is, that is a bad time for that driver. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, there's trash. Well, they've definitely certainly made it realistic. Oh. Holy shit. 
shame. Oh, look at that. We can really go into the water with the horse. Wow, there's going to be some really cool... Do not drive too deeply into the water. There's going to be some really cool adventure maps in this game. I'm really hoping somebody makes like a Red Dead Redemption farming map. Wouldn't that be amazing if someone took the uh, map from some of your favorite games and now incorporated it into a farming sim? Just put some farming fields down in like uh, Los Santos or something. That'd be amazing. Definitely a welcome sight in farming sim. Look at that. Why is this so cool? This is a game about farming and we're out riding horses. That is so awesome. Oh, look at the dust we're kicking up too. Or maybe it's exhaust. See, I told you it ran on fuel. None of you believe me. That's amazing. Let's go down to the other pier. Let's go full. Look at that. That is incredible. I don't know why that's so breathtaking to me. That is just amazing. I wonder if you can ride a cow. Note to self. Check to see if you can ride a cow or a pig. That would be cool. Imagine that. That's going to be a lot of fun. I doubt that, but it'll be funny. Actually, I bet somebody will mod that in too. All right, let's head down to the beach and see what else is here. Just like in uh, Grand Theft Auto and any other game, you got random people just kind of walking around the beach. Although I guess that wouldn't be too random, people walking down by the beach for the evening. Although they're all on, on a predetermined path. Very cool. Oh, there's the American flag there at the end of the pier. I wonder if there's hidden items in this game too. I haven't found anything, but it would be kind of cool to see if there was some sort of hidden item that you can find. Well, this is surely probably against policy, but let's uh, let's go up here. Let's get our horse up here. There we go. Yeah, definitely something that's probably not uh, really uh, permitted too much, but that's okay. Oop, oop. There we go. We're just exploring. I've never been down to the pier before, and if we get off the horse, it might uh, actually change uh, its location back to the paddock, so I don't want that to happen. A beautiful little uh, beach restaurant here, or a pier, pier restaurant. And uh, pop, like boat services or something like that. Oh, it looks like they're doing some construction down here. Edge of the map, obviously, but I uh, wonder if you can do anything with the, uh, with the crane and stuff. You know, it'd be really cool. Uh, unfortunately, on this map, there's no um, port or anything that you can go to uh, to sell your products. So there's not like a, it's all railroad, grain silos, or like a restaurant itself. So you can't uh, actually go to a port or anything like that, which is a shame. There's so many large ships around, but it's not the end of the world. All right, let's head back then. We'll uh, head our way into town a little bit more. Get out of the pier. Lots of ways down here, though. This is what uh, really makes it feel like uh, California. Uh, this is more like the, uh, kind of feels like the Pacific Coast Highway here. Yeah, both lanes of traffic like that. The road would have to be bigger, but definitely has the feel of that. Really neat that we get to explore more. I can't believe it. Like, a, of, a, of a game like this, I've done more exploring in a farming sim game. Usually, you, you kind of do uh, two laps around the map to find where everything is, and that's it. But this actually has a lot of beauty to it. And uh, that's what's nice about the horses. You can actually experience that beauty on the back of a horse, including a sandcastle. Look at that. You think we could jump those volleyball nets? Mmm, I don't think so. Oh, we could. Um, I don't. Mm, let's try. I doubt it. Wow, we did it! I can't believe it. All right, there's a sandcastle there. That's pretty nice. So we made an awfully nice sandcastle. Oh, it's like. Oh, too bad it's not a river. I thought there was a ravine that would go down there. I was. I was gonna want to walk next to it. I'll take this little trail here. There we go, full gallop now. Getting close to traffic. Right back into the houses. Narrow bridge back there with a the pedestrian bridge. Some beautiful houses back here too. It'd be nice if you could buy properties in order to store your items. Like a house there where you could store your car. That'd be another nice thing about farming sim. The ability to buy homes. That would be cool. Well, right, let's check out what's up here. Looks like a... Uh, is this an actual house? It's a trail over here. Looks like somebody's house, but it doesn't really look entirely like a home. I 
Hmm, kind of more of a business. Actually, I think this might be a loading area for grain, perhaps. Oh, it's, yeah, it's definitely associated with the railroad. Oh, wow, there's so many cool little trails back here. Oh, is this a nice... Oh, this is a view over the... Uh, Oh, it's a la oh, I see. It's a stairs. Never mind. So there was a nice little uh, viewpoint here. Oh, I guess there is. I guess there is. Oh, not not even close. <laughs> there we go. Ah, beautiful. And look at that. Now you're uh, you're seeing uh, palm trees at the same time. And then if you go back in, it's almost like you're in a, a different part of the world, or at least the United States. That ship actually is moving. You can see the uh, barges and uh, cargo ships and tugboats moving all around. Very cool. Oh, there's a nice house up there. Yeah, so de definitely like California with houses on the hills like that. Let's take a walk over this direction. Oh, I'm glad we were able to uh, show off. Uh, buying a paddock and buying a horse is so easy. And then the exploration itself is just another great feature. I, I just can't praise it enough. It's just cool. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely a welcome feature. And I definitely got excited for it when I saw that you could actually buy horses, transport them around, and ride them. Like, that's just unheard of. I don't know why. Uh, let's go up and uh, visit the neighbors here. Wow, this is really cool. I'm really excited to make some uh, interesting series here in Farming Sim to... Uh, make it so we can make our own stories and uh, that's what's fun about farming sim is you can do whatever you want you see that giant whale over there that l large skeleton off my left shoulder look at that over by the lighthouse beautiful All right, let's see if we can carefully <laughs> oh darn I wanted to be able to uh, walk up a path but I guess we had to go up the stairs this actually looks very similar to the ranch where you can uh, kind of go up there and, and uh, tour around a little bit there's a beautiful little observation post in, inside the map a little bit. And of course, I would be... I'd leave the horse and walk, but, you know, we'd have to start back where we were. wonder if there's an area... Oh, you know what be really cool? Oh, hitbox or something. You know what be really cool is if we could, uh... If there was a hitching post for us to tie our horse up. That'd be cool. Oh, no. Invisible wall here. We can't go out to the parking lot. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, look. He can turn in place, though, without having to move. All right, we'll go back down and... Can we... Wait a minute, we just came up here. Oh, there we go. A little picky, I guess, with the hitbox on top of your head and... whatnot. So I wonder if the ranch has some riding trails around there. Let's take a look at the map quickly. So you can see we've r ridden all the way from the lower right side of the map to almost the upper left corner. And uh, there's definitely a lot of trails here around the Port Grain Elevator. All the way up to... Uh, all the way up here. So this seems like the best area for riding. And, uh, I, you know what would be really great, I don't know if you could do this, is to uh, load the horses up into the transporter and then, you know, drive to an, an area, a parking lot or whatever, and then let them out and ride them. That would be a great thing, too. Uh, because getting here is, you know, you got to kind of go on the road a little bit, but it'd be cool if there was an area to just go and ride some trails. That'd be cool. All right, let's make our way over to the lighthouse. I am delighted to go over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, let's let's race the train. No train yet, but more trails down that way. Okay, let's uh, go over this way. Oh, come on! Oh, wait a minute! Oh, here it comes! Oh, perfect! Oh God! Oh, whoa! <laughs> Oops! I didn't mean to do that. Well, we now know what happens when a uh, immovable object meets an unstoppable force. I wanted to race it, but okay. Oops. Well, that answers that question. So it seems like we can go pretty fast next to the train. Oh, poor horsey. That's okay. He's stronger than the train. That's the iron horse. And again, look at that beautiful sight of us. Run. Look at that. That is crazy. Oh, there it is. I don't think that's a whale, actually. That is, that is definitely not a whale. That is a... Uh, what is that, actually? Former whale. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, quite obvious that that's uh, a no longer living whale. All right. Well, let's get up here and take a look at the wonderful ocean. And uh, is that a bridge up there? What is that? Let's get up here. You know, it'd be really nice is to uh, be on a coastal map. That would be really cool. 
Uh, and I don't mean it like this, I just mean like uh, the, the entire farm is along the coast and not just like having a coastal connection. Looks like there were some items in there. Maybe there's secrets or hidden items around this, uh, around this game. Alright, let's go across the bridge. So it is a little difficult to control the horse as you have to kind of select the speed. So it's either, you know, fast, medium, or slow. And so when you're trying to come to a stop, you have to... It's almost like slowing down a ship. And the hitbox is a little wide, but definitely not a problem. It's manageable so long as you... Well, maybe not. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little... little big. Oh, is there an invisible wall here? No, we should be okay. Yep, there we go. Yay, alright, cool, we made it all the way to the lighthouse. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, everyone, well, that is it for today's episode of Farming Simulator 19, taking a look at horses. They're, of course, much more intricate than this. We have a lot to do in order to feed them and give them water and treat them right, and I think this has been a lot of fun. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Look at that. Man, that is just awesome. Right now, you like my horse with my horse and stuff? There needs to be... I want to. I want a map where it's just like I got four or five farm fields, and that's it, and then everything else is horse territory. You bet your britches they're going to do that. Can't wait. All right, everyone, that's it for now. Thank you very much for leaving a like and subscribing. If you are new here, there's going to be a tons to do in Farming Sim 19. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell and change it to all, so that way you can see whenever there's a new video. And this comes out, of course, on November 20th, 2018, for PC, Xbox One, PS4. Be there, baby. It's going to be awesome. Of course, remember, there's a German map as well, so we've got much more to explore. And we haven't even touched the surface of this one. It's crazy. So I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.